Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 18 in chapter 31. Chapter 31 is about Maxwell equations and electromagnetic waves. Now we talk about laser. For a laser light wavelength is given at there. Now the laser's time taking is delta t. We can get it at there. It tells you 38 picoseconds. So we can just convert the unit to second. And also, we know the laser is a kind of EM wave, right? So the speed of EM wave is an important constant, c. And I strongly suggest you to remember it. Now we get everything prepared. So first one, how many wavelengths are found within the laser plus? Right, this is a part one. So that means ask you the number of wavelengths in a plus. Mm -hmm. So first one, we need to find the length of a plus, and then we know how much the wavelengths we have, right? So this is the length of a wavelength. This is a lambda. And ask you how many of this lambda in a plus. Looks like we need to find the distance for a plus, right? This is called the length of a plus, called a delta d, right? This is called a delta d. Delta d is this one. Uh -huh. So we can use delta d divided by lambda to get the number of wavelengths. So this is how we solve it. Now look at the delta d. How can we get the length of a plus? Use a speed times time taking, right? Speed times time taking. So light of speed of light times dirty. Now we input the dirty inside. We now we can say C dirty dirty and lambda is given. So we can input all the given quantity, get answer there. Mm -hmm. Now how brief would the plus lead to fit only one wavelength? Now brief is what? Is time taking, right? Is the time taking for a plus lead to be fit only one wavelength? So in this case, I tell you what if this uh, delta d, this one is just in one wavelength. So that means the period should be equal to the lambda is a wavelength, right? Divided by c. Lambda divided by c input a given quantity, you get the answer there. Thank you.